right hand side. The question is prove cos 3a is equal to 4 cos cubed a minus 3 cos a. First thing to notice here is that we have only coses on the right hand side. Also a lot of teachers might tell you start with the side that's more complicated and in actual fact although the side looks a little bit more complicated it's important to notice that all, all the angles here and here are actually single angles. Okay, they single angles. And a single angles, a single angle rather, is always in a more simplified form already than an angle which is say a compound or a double angle. And the truth is that if you have a close look at this cos 3a, well it's not a single angle, it's three times a single angle and therefore it's the more complex of the two. Which means I'm going to start with the left hand side. Left hand side becomes Okay, now, first thing you need to do is decide what you have in your arsenal or in your team of things that you can use to make your life easier. We know, for example, that cos 2a has three different solutions. It can either be 2 cos squared a minus 1. It can either be cos squared a minus sine squared a. Sine squared a and it can be 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Okay. Question is which one do you use? You have three options and the hint actually lies in the question itself. If you have a look at the right hand side you'll notice that there are no signs in the right hand side. It means that once we're finished simplifying the story on the left we don't want any more signs to be present in the right hand side. And if you have a look at the three options that you've got well the first one has got only causes and a number. It looks promising. The second one, see if I can find a color here, the second one has causes and signs. Well, I don't really like the sign because remember what I'm trying to end up with on the right hand side doesn't contain any signs. I'm not going to therefore introduce signs by making a substitution that contains sign. And lastly, this one also. No good. Why? 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So the valid choice here is actually, uh, let's stay with the red, is actually 2 cos squared a minus 1. So just to go through that again, whenever you end up in the scenario where you have a choice for cos 2a, you need to look at the rest of the question. If the question only contains signs, choose the choice that only has signs and numbers. Numbers are always good. If the question only contains causes, choose the one that only contains causes. And if the question contains both causes and signs, then choosing cos and sine are both valid. Also, if you made the wrong choice initially, don't get alarmed because all roads lead to Rome. It just means that you might have to take one or two longer steps in order to get to your final answer, but provided your work is mathematically sound, in other words, you haven't said things that are not mathematically true, you will still reach your answer eventually. You might just take the long route. So don't start stressing in an exam if you chose the wrong choice. Just work with it. You can always change back. Okay, so we've identified that this 2 cos squared a minus 1 is the one that has no signs. So let's write that down. Has no signs. Has no signs. Okay, so cos 3a becomes cos 2a plus a. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to expand the 2a to 2a plus a. Remember that over here I'm writing the theory that I need to be keeping in the back of my mind. And one of the things that we know is that cos of A plus B is equal to cos A, cos B minus sine A. I'm just going to write it down here, sine B. And that allows me to open up this story over here. So let's see, I'm going to use this just now. And I'm going to use this first equals cos 2a plus a. Well, in actual fact, if you think about it, it's the same as having cos a. Wee, that's a highlighter. Excuse me, I'll put it in anyway. It's the same as having cos a plus b, which becomes cos a cos b, 
cos 2a, cos a. I'm using this formula down here, guys. Ignore the highlighter. Minus sine 2a, sine a. Okay? Are you with me? Equals. Now I end up with this choice. Okay? This choice that I spoke about right at the beginning of the question. I've got this cos 2a over here. I need to decide what I'm looking for. Remember, in the rest of the question, up here, I'm looking to achieve a right-hand side that only contains causes. Therefore, what choice am I going to make when I choose a substitution for cos 2a? Well, we've already identified the only choice that doesn't contain signs. So this cos 2a over here is going to become 2 cos squared a minus 1. Okay? I'm going to move my whole calculation a little bit further down so that we can do things in one line. So it becomes cos 2a is 2 cos squared a minus 1. That whole thing there is cos 2a. I still have to include this cos a next to it. Okay? Then I have a minus. There is my minus. Sine 2a. Sine 2a is much easier because you don't have choices. You've got one choice, and that choice is 2 sine a cos a. And lastly, I need to still include this final sine a, which happens to be at the end. Don't leave it out. Sine a. Now, remember that you're trying to achieve a situation. We've spoken about no signs on the right-hand side. What I didn't mention was the fact that these are all single angles, and therefore my aim is to reduce the triple angles and the double angles to single angles, which is why I'm expanding in the first place. If you have a look at what I've done so far, you'll notice that cos A we like, single angle. Sin A we like, but it's, it's, we don't like the fact that it's a sine, but it is reduced. And let's see what else is happening here. I've got this cos A over here, sin A, cos squared A. So we've managed to eliminate one problem, the problem of the double and triple angles. So there's one final problem that we need to eliminate. And that is to somehow get rid of the signs here. Let's see what we can do. I have no option but to multiply into the brackets here. Cos A times 2 cos squared A becomes 2 cos cubed A minus cos A. That's, I'm doing that. Let's see. I've got a sine A and a sine A. That can become minus 2 sine squared A. And I still have my cos A at the end here. Okay. This is looking more like what I want because in the original question, what I'm trying to prove is something with cos cubed. Let's make that look a bit more like a cubed over there. That should be a 3. And if you have a look at what I've already got, well, I've already got one of the 3s. So it looks like I'm on the right path over here. I'm happy. I'm happy. The reason why I'm happy, I like causes. So far, my only problem that I can see is the sine squared A. But it's very easy from your grade 11 theory to change a sine squared by just making it 1 minus cos squared. So let's eliminate that problem. 2 cos cubed A minus cos A minus 2 sine squared. We know to be 1 minus cos squared. And don't forget your cos A at the end. Okay, let's see what happens now. It becomes 2 cos cubed A minus cos A. Let's multiply into this bracket. Cos times 1 is minus 2 cos A. And minus 2 times cos minus minus is plus 2 cos cubed A. 2 cos cubed A. And what do I end up with? 2 and 2 cos cubed A will give me my 4 cos cubed A minus cos A minus 2 cos A is minus 3 cos A. And that is exactly what I'm trying to prove on the right hand side. Okay, I hope you <laughs>